Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial we are going to learn about null layout in Java. So let's start. So the first question arise what is a layout? So a layout is a uh, is the way in which we arrange our component or our controls in a container. So uh, today we will learn about the null layout so in a null layout we give a fixed position and size to every component or every control on our container so let's uh, create a new file so java file and i'll name this uh, null layout demo and I'll click finish to create now I'll create a, a constructor here so I'll use public uh, null layout demo and I'll put curly braces here now here I'll create a JFrame so j frame uh, frame equals new j frame now i'll put semicolon here and now i'll import this now we will create a frame dot set default close operation and j frame dot exit on close and then i'll use frame dot um, set bounds and i will use this zero zero and uh, uh, 700 cross 700 and now I'll show this frame set visible true now I'll go here and create the object of this class or call this class here so null layout demo demo equals new null control space and now i'll put semicolon here now if i run this file we will see a 700 cross 700 j frame on our screen now you can see this is a 700 cross 700 j frame so let me uh, close this and I will change the size to um, the height to uh, 700 cross 500 now it is ok now I will create a container equals frame dot get content pane so we are getting the content of this frame or the content area of this frame into this container so what is the content area of this frame if i run this uh, file now this grade area is the content area of this frame all this except this top bar now I'll uh, close this and now I'll set this container and I'll layout so container dot set layout and I will pass in null now I have passed in null layout uh, to this container so now when we add 
any controller any component to this container we have to give it a fixed size and a fixed location so now i'll create a a j text field and a field equals new j text field semicolon and now i'll import this j text field now I have to give this JTX field bounds or I can uh, use uh, location and size as well so I'll use location and size for this so field dot set uh, location this one so we are I want this in this container so I want this is the left so I want this 10 from the left and uh, 10 from the top and then I will give it uh, a fixed uh, this is the location so I'll now give it a fixed size dot set size or these two line of code can be uh, written in only one line as uh, set bound field dot set bounds so now i will give it a size of 200 uh, width and 30 height now i'll add it to the container so container dot add and i'll use a uh, field now I'll put semicolon here now if I run this file right now you will see a JTX field of this at this location and of that size now you can see a text uh, field here which is 10 from the top and 10 from this side and is of 200 width and 30 height now we will add in a button uh, right uh, next to it and horizontally so for that we have to calculate uh, the space of this so to add a button I will come here and use J button uh, button equals new J button and now I'll pass in the text here uh, click me and now we'll put semicolon here now I'll import the J button and now I'll set bounds so for these two line of codes you can use only this set bounds so button dot set bounds and now here I can pass the value from the left the value from the top uh, width and height so now uh, this JTX field is uh, 10 from the left first we have to calculate the left value so it is 10 from the left and uh, 200 is uh, its uh, width so this become 210 and then I want this button to be 10 from this uh, uh, JTX field so uh, left uh, towards the left so are uh, toward the right so here I will pass in 2 2 0 so it will take 2 to 0 from left of the frame then we want it from the top so for the top we will calculate uh, as the it is 10 from the top and its height is uh, 30 so it become 40 and I want uh, 10 uh, I want it at the same level as this uh, 
uh, JTX field so I'll pass in 10 because I want it horizontally uh, to uh, be 220 away from this J frame left side but I want it uh, vertically at the same level as this JTX field so that is why I, pa I pass in the same value as here now I have to pass the uh, height uh, the width now so I want it uh, uh, 200 width its width and up the same height as this uh, JTX field now I'll put semicolon here and now I'll add it into our container so container dot add and here I will pass in button and now I'll put semicolon here now if we run this now you can see a button that is 10 away from this way and uh, vertically it is at the same level as this and it is has the same height and the same width as this J text field now I want a button below it so for that I will go here close this and I will copy this button control C this and now I'll control V this and now I'll make this button too and I'll make this uh, button too and this button too uh, this button too so now we have to only change these values now I want it uh, uh, at the uh, below this uh, JTX field so this JTX field is uh, uh, 10 from the top so I'll make this uh, 30 and I want it uh, at the same level as this on X axis horizontally so I'll make this 10 So I want this 10 away from this side again and 30 from the top. Uh, 30 from the top. This is uh, 10 is from the top. This J takes field and its width, its uh, height is 30 so it becomes 40 and so I'll pass in 50 here. 50 here and I want it at uh, of same size and same width height and width now if I run this now you will see a button below this JTX field now similarly I want a button below this uh, click me button so for that I'll close it down and I'll copy that button Control C this and I'll control V it here. Now this will remain the same and I'll make the I'll change this. So what is its value? It is 220. So I'll copy this, control C this, and I'll control V it here. And now the size is the same. So I'll make this button 3, this button 3 and this button 3 as well so now if I run this so now you can see a button below it but this layout is fixed it is not dynamic so if I uh, minimize or move this uh, window toward here so these buttons will uh, remain it at its place and does not uh, shrink or uh, expand with this J frame. So this was null layout in Java.
so i hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you